Hey guys, this is Dr. V. I'm going to show you a, a pretty cool piece of software that our department has purchased a site license for. This is ChemDoodle. So I think that I'm not requiring this in any of my classes, but I think that it's really uh, useful for some of you to get your hands on a piece of software that you would use if you were in a synthetic lab in uh, a higher academic level or industrial setting because basically everything's moving well if, the, if it already hasn't moved towards uh, digital okay so this is a cool piece of software uh, basically it can draw out structures it can predict NMR spectra it can break apart molecules to figure out fragmentation patterns for mass spec it can also look up properties so let's get into it so what I'm going to first start off with is uh, making it so we could reproduce the reaction scheme that was drawn in the handout or in the example data handout that I posted on Blackboard. So it's a, in a sterification reaction. So this is your first handy dandy toolbar. Basically this has all the drawing elements on it. So we're going to start with an, with an aromatic ring. So we go here, we click the benzene ring. So we click it once. That makes the carbon. We click it again. That draws out the rest of it. Okay, so we can go through and draw the lines. So a lot of these things, stereochemistry basically, uh, multiple bonds, electrons. Uh, you can, all this stuff would be useful if you're trying to draw out transition states and the like. Okay, so like breaking bonds and making bonds. Okay, so let's just draw a super simple single bond. And let's click on the carbon where we want it to go. And there you go. So we can click it again. We could click it again. So if we were to click it, let's go back. So say for example, we click this here, it goes that way. But it could also go that way at a 120 degree angle. Okay, so we just click Control Z to go back. I don't know what that is on a Mac. Um, I'm sure that you can go to Edit, Undo. So it'll be up here, or Undo for a Mac. It'll tell you what that is. Okay, so we're drawing the ethyl cinnamate. So we're drawing the carboxylic acid to draw a double bond just go right in the middle okay and what we can do for heteroatoms at least for simple ones we can click in go over it and type O or we could go and use this text tool and click O here and that will make the carboxylic acid so let's put this here okay so there's that so there's one of our structures so let's draw in an arrow and we're going to go from here to here okay so what we want to do is we're doing an esterification so this will automatically pop up the last thing that you did or you can use this tool some people like the lasso I personally like the box you could go over it Control copy or control C, control V or paste, and it'll give you that structure. Okay, so then we go back over here and whoop, we go here. Okay, so this draws it like super nice, but say for example, we draw it and we grab our little hand, we draw it not so nice. What you can do, let's highlight the structure. Up here, there is optimized structures in 2D. Okay, so it optimized it, but it did something funky. Okay, so let's rotate this thing around. So we're going to rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Rotate 
90 degrees clockwise. Let's do this again. That obviously didn't work. Let's go here and let's clean it up again. Oop. Okay, that should work. Okay, so we're doing the reaction. So let's look at this reaction. So we highlight the whole thing. We go to reaction. We go to build implied reaction. So it sets it as a, a reaction. Then let's go to edit. So this is our starting, this is our product. Let's put in PTSA. And we'll set this in the middle. And then we'll set ETOH or ethanol. Set that one in the middle. Okay. So there's that. And then we click done. And it sets the condition. So normally what happens uh, is that to do this in like the industry standard chem draw, you have to <clears throat> draw out the arrow, draw or type out this on the top, type out this on the top, align it in the middle. Basically, it's a whole bunch of steps. So for us, this is okay. What we could do is we could shrink this down. And then we can move this over. Let's set this. Let's see if the doing the reaction works. Okay, looks clean enough to me. All right, so at this point, you could go into a Word document. Sorry, I already beat you to it. I've been practicing. So we can take this. We could control C or copy this. And we can control V or paste that. Okay, so this is good enough for your notebooks. They're all ready to go. So if you, for example, were working on this project forever ago and you wanted this ChemDraw uh, file, or this uh, ChemDoodle file, you could basically just double click on this. It saves the metadata and it'll load up a ChemDoodle sheet with your reaction on it. Cool. Okay, so some other things that are on this toolbar, you have orbital, orbital, so if you were again drawing out a transition state of some, so, some sort, you could put these in there, or pi bonds, all of these things. You have a negative charge or a positive charge. These are for, again, uh, uh, transition states and the like the uh, radical cation for the mass spec which we'll cover in a sec so basically you could just put this thing on let's just say this has a minus charge and it'll work like that okay all right so that's that um, this is biological stuff you have uh, even you have lab glass stuff like that cool 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 uh, different elements and then you can also just use this uh, text tool here to set the atom label okay boxes so I like to sometimes draw boxes like and draw a structure in here like this is the catalyst Like this is the catalyst. Yeah, there you go. Right there. Uh, you can also draw a chain tool. So this is if you're using like dodecane or something like in the 270 lab where you're doing those alkyl halides. You can just draw it out there and it's ready to go. Okay. So on, on this two this is the default you'd have to cancel out of this sheet to get that to work again this is the default setting for uh, chem doodle what you could potentially do is you could go and 
like highlight it and match style and you could do AT ACS 1996 that's the publishable format but for us this is okay okay so there's all that okay so let's start looking at one of these compounds so we can go structure we could do all this formal charges I mean, all of this good stuff. And I'm looking for some important things. RNS, there we go. You could determine RNS for the structure. Or E to Z, you should know E to Z, but RS is important. We could clean. I think we have access to the 3D models as well. What I'm worried about in particular is the structure to IUPAC name. So it'll give you this. See so this you could you could basically search search uh, like Sigma Aldridge. You could search the MAST Chem Web Book. You can search Chem Spider anything by using just this name right here. Okay, and you can get good stuff out of that. So we got all that. Okay, so let's look at some spectroscopy stuff. So we've got the NMR, the most important. Highlight that. It'll tell you which one's which, or what it predicts anyway. So this is the carbon, you put it over the carbon, and it'll tell you what it should be. So these double bonds here, yep. Cool, very cool. So you still at the same time you need to know, uh, this will tell you relative what it is, but if you look at the multiplicity it should tell you which one is it is for certain. Okay, so this has a multiplet analyzer. Um, basically, oops, I posted it. What you could do is this will simulate the the trees, and you could give it different coupling constants like five hertz and two hertz, and it'll give you a doublet of doublets. So this you could also pick apart uh, the experimental results doing it this way. Okay, so that's NMR. Let's look at, so I could do a cart mass parent peak. This is what it would look at like. So this is where you get the monoisotopic masses. Um, so these two will line up. So these are the molecular ion peaks. What you could also do is you could use this fragmentation tool over here. And you can cut it. And it gives you the masses of each of the peaks. So 147 and 129. So you would see these on the on the low resolution resolution um, electron impact mass spectrum which is cool okay so I mean you could just continue to go down the chain so you can take this take this and you could try to identify what each of the pieces is Okay. More on the structure. Let's look at some other tools, properties. So this gives you the monoisotopic mass, molecular mass, the formula, and all these calculated values. So the boiling point, I'm pretty sure is not 586.9 Kelvin. I'm sure it's a little different. I think this is calculated. Uh, 
total, total polar surface area and log P are parameters that you'd want to do in medicinal chemistry, for example. So these are all um, potentially useful. You can search. This is searching through, basically if you have a million different ChemDraw files all over your computer, you could search this structure through all of the different files. Uh, here, over here is symbols. Symbols are useful when you're drawing things over the arrow and you don't use that text edit tool. This is templates. So for example, you want to do cyclic ter terpenes. So for 370L we do the camphor experiment. Here's uh, an example of that so you can draw it automatically. So they have a bunch of other things too. Okay, so we got that, we got that. Uh, mole grabber. What you could do is you could just type in the name and you could search it. So let's clear this. So let's draw in. Let's get the name out of this. Uh, I don't think you could do it that way. Structure, structure the name. Boring. Let's search this up. And it'll give you the structure. This is pretty cool because you don't have to redraw everything. Okay. So there's that. You can also do PubChem, see what that shows. It'll give you the same sort of thing. Okay. Go through history, elemental analysis, and statistics. So those are um, not that important, but you can go and play around with this when you get a chance. Okay, so that is Chem Doodle. If you guys have any questions, just feel free to come contact me and I'll help you out. Thanks.